Welcome to Malifaux University. 616, Gaining Ground Scheme, Protected Territory. This is a very straightforward scheme with no particular complications or twists. The goal of protected territory is to drop scheme markers on the enemy half of the table, twice. If you've been playing Malifaux for a little while and this scheme feels familiar, it is because it is an updated version of the Spread Them Out scheme from Gaining Grounds Season 3. The reveal condition for protected territory is scored at the end of the turn. If you have two friendly scheme markers completely on the enemy table half, at least 10 inches away from one another, and there is no enemy model within 3 inches of either of them, reveal the scheme, remove both scheme markers, and score the victory point. In Gaining Ground Season 3, you had to have three scheme markers on the enemy table half, and it didn't matter if enemy models were nearby. To score the end condition, do it again, but a little differently. You still need two friendly scheme markers completely on the enemy table half and at least 10 inches away from one another, but now, instead of keeping enemy models away, your models have to be close. Each scheme marker must have a friendly model within 3 inches. Remove both markers to score the victory point. In Gaining Ground Season 3, the end condition was the same as its reveal condition, so be patient if you're playing protected territory and you or your opponent remember it the old spread them out way. Remember that models with summon upgrades or tokens cannot interact and don't count for friendly schemes or strategies for the turn they are summoned. Keep this in mind if you summon a model hoping it will drop a scheme marker in time to score the point. I'll take a brief moment now to thank all those who were patrons at the time this video was made, especially Sergey, Keith, Alan, Jeremy, Mikolai, Tom, and Travis, and many more at the free student tier. Your support is essential to bringing these videos to life. Let's see this in action. It's a Wild West shootout with Dead Man Walking, Parker Barrows Bandits, trading shots with Perdita Ortega's family, and the bandits are working on protected territory. This keyword has several ways of dropping scheme markers, so they're optimistic about scoring both victory points. Despite their optimism, the family crew keeps removing the bandits' scheme markers as fast as they can put them down. Parker Barrows comes up with a solution. Using his six shooters, he attacks and damages this pistol arrow. His draw their attention ability says that since he damaged an enemy model with an attack action, a friendly model in Parker's line of sight can discard a card to take the interact action. Mad Dog Bracket is all the way over here, but can see Parker Barrows. He discards a card and interacts to drop a scheme marker. Then Parker Barrows opens fire on the pistol arrow again, killing the man. Parker Barrows uses his A Fistful of Script ability to drop a scheme marker into base contact with the model before the guild player drops a corpse marker and removes it. At the end of the turn, there are two bandit scheme markers on the enemy half of the table, more than 10 inches away from one another, and with no enemy model within 3 inches of either of them. The outcast player reveals the scheme, removes both scheme markers, and scores the victory point. In the last turn, the family crew keeps the bandits engaged most of the time, and they have little opportunity to drop scheme markers. Johan Creedy gets one on the table over here, and this prospector uses her Malifaux Mining Law bonus action to drop a scheme marker next to her over here. Francisco Ortega then promptly kills her with his balanced sword, and it looks like the outcasts might not get the end condition of having friendly models within three inches of two of their scheme markers. Sue is the last to activate, and though he is engaged by sly six shots, he uses his walk-the-line tactical action on this bandito to push her six inches toward the scheme marker left by the prospector. She winds up within three inches of it, fulfilling the end condition. The outcast player removes both scheme markers and scores the second victory point. That's the Gaining Ground Scheme, Protected Territory. Pick up a printable set of all the markers and tokens you need to play Malifaux in the War Game Vault. If you haven't already, join us on Patreon to receive early, ad-free access to all new content. And be sure to visit the Malifaux University gift shop for the latest in Malifaux-themed shirts, hoodies, drinkware, and more. Links are in the notes below. And remember, play friendly games, keep it simple, and have fun. Malifaux.